Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's do another entry here. This one yet again based on one of your newer suggestions. This one having a tie with yet another one of my beloved Lumberjack Cryptids. If you've seen my channel for a good number of years, you know how much I love those particular tales. In fact, I have a separate playlist just for them exclusively. So, not only do I have one for the Cryptids and Monsters side, but I also have one just for the Lumberjack Cryptids. So if you haven't had a chance to see those, check out the uh, playlist that I have. I'll try to include the link for it below. And then that way you'll get to see all my past Lumberjack Cryptids along with this one that I'll include going forward. But this one has to do with yet another weird but fascinating creature. This one actually found in the waters there of Washington State. And apparently it has to do with a lot of opium. Who knew that when it comes to cryptids that they absolutely enjoyed that drug in of itself. And when I was reading this information I thought there might actually be a link to a very famous movie. One that I'll talk about more here in a minute and it could explain why these fish acted the way they did. But let's go ahead and let's talk about that here. In fact, we're looking at a picture of it now. It's known as the opium pipe fish. So what is this opium pipe fish? Obviously, it has a very distinctive name. It's definitely tied in this case to that drug. And apparently it has something else in terms of a pipe like object but it has to do with this this is a creature that is found in an area there in washington state known as pugget sound i hope i'm saying that correctly someone you know please let me know in the comments if that's uh, said differently but Puget Sound is a inlet it's a large body of water there that extends about a hundred miles wide I'm sorry in length and about 10 miles wide so it's definitely not a small body of water so here you would have a perfect creature that could essentially just adapt deep into those waters and then come out when absolutely has to and then as far as its look and its characteristics for the most part it seems to look like your average fish like it has its fins it has its elongated body it has its uh, tail at the end as well but most distinctive is this it has a very very long elongated snout which in of itself might not stand out if it weren't for just a regular uh, if it weren't just a regular fish but at the end of that snout is this it's a single pipe like nostril that's right like what you're looking at the picture of here it definitely looks like a very distinctive instrument doesn't it when it comes to this fish but yes it definitely is at the end of its snout if you could call it that and then it delves in those waters for one purpose whatsoever then that's this apparently back then at the turn of the century which read to me like the early 1900s there was a set of boats that would come across there sometimes docking in from the far east and when they did so they carried one distinctive cargo on them and that was opium apparently back in the 1900s it was very very popular to have this drug there in that area and it would come in from these large ships obviously it would be probably you know in some kind of distinct cargo that looks like something else entirely different it was just then as a way to um, keep things secret and who knew every now and then there would probably be busts that we see like in the old pastime photos where you saw the cops breaking down illegal cargo of sorts so this stuff would come in and then in that area there in the Puget Sound that's where these fish would wait and that would wait for one specific moment when there was a bus like when this case whenever the cops came and then Anyone that was there on the boat obviously were trying to evade having this stuff on them. They had to throw it overseas. And when they did so, that's when this opium pipe fish was absolutely in heaven. Because apparently they would wait there and then once it was thrown over, they would scoop up as much of this opium as they could. And then they would run off with it. If they could, they could actually do it right then and there. Apparently they used that distinctive nostril, whatever that pipe-like nostril is, to essentially smoke it or do something else um, I don't know exactly how something would be smoked underneath water but they would do it and then they would do it either there or if they had the time they would actually uh, do this activity at a nearby sunny beach is what it was as described and then there at their leisure they would go into a drug induced haze and then enjoy the rest of the time period however long that opium lasted crazy world night when it comes to cryptids I mean you would think that's 
finally you've reached the most weirdest point uh, when it comes to that world. But no, here in this case, here's another creature yet again pushing things even further. And if you want to know, like if, if it's been reported, it has. Apparently it was back in April 1913. There's an article called Marvelous Critters of Puget Sound, and it was printed in the Seattle Star, no less. And then that's where this creature was uh, published and so it definitely adds more credence to it as well. Now I do believe this though. Um, there's indications that this definitely just started more as a joke, and that's because apparently people there, pioneers and those moving westward and moving especially towards Washington State, they would mention this just as a joke to other newcomers around that location. Like they would probably state to them that as they threw uh, this opium across the bow to escape it and or to escape any kind of incarceration from it and to make sure that they could get rid of the evidence then they would probably tell them watch out something like the opium pipe fish will catch it and i imagine they'd said that because they would probably never find the particular stuff afterward um, who knew maybe it just drowned in of itself or it just was dispersed by that water but they would probably never ever get that stuff back and so they reasoned to themselves in a joking manner that there had to be something else enjoying it and that's where they probably we thought of this opium pipe fish but either way though it's a weird weird combination of stuff when it comes to this cryptid having that nostril and then enjoying that human-like activity obviously a lot of people back then did opium and then they do it now as well and that ties in actually to another film and i'm wondering if if this film ever ever would reference it in some loose way i'm sure you've seen this movie if you're a robert de niro fan but it's called once upon a time in america definitely a crime epic drama that came out I think it was the early 1980s I saw this movie probably like in the late 1990s early 2000s something like that and it's a good movie it's a really long one too you definitely have to park um, let's say the rest of the afternoon off because you're going to be watching this film for a good time period but there's a very distinctive scene in there where the boys are dealing with some kind of drug I can't remember if it was something else if it was opium or something else but it definitely tied into this they had this drug coming in through a boat and then the boys discovered a way i think it was noodles that did so he discovered a way to ensure that when they had to throw it overboard because of the cops coming in they could at least retrieve it afterward it involved taking some kind of balloon tying it to the actual boxes with the smuggled stuff and then the balloon would come about um, in the water at a short time period afterward and then they would collect the actual stuff itself so that once the authorities left realizing that there was nothing illegal on the boat then the balloons would do their work and they would come up afterwards in the water and then they would collect it as far as these boys would afterward and so i'm wondering if they did that because they probably lost so much cargo beforehand right they, they would throw this stuff overboard and then they would never find it again i'm wondering if they in turn in that film in that universe whatever that film was if they thought to themselves if they heard the legends of the opium pipe fish it's just something the first thing that came to mind when i was thinking of this cryptid and then i realized oh my goodness there's a good chance that this could tie into that world bit of a stretch but i thought i would just share it for you here but if anybody has any more information anything else might have missed please post those comments below anybody there from the washington state area specifically from that puget sound maybe you might know more history associated with this unique looking fish and of course it's human-like activity if so please let me know post them in the comments as well all right everybody thanks again as always take care bye